Hello, and thank you for joining me today uh, in the discussion that I'm going to have, or better yet, a little bit of the teaching information for you guys out there that are interested in spirituality and on how to use a little bit of these spiritual clones that we have here. I'm pretty sure you've seen some of these sometimes at your local botanica or even at the botanica where I work at. Uh, you probably know me as Jesus. I am the Santero that does the readings there. And today I want to talk to you about how we use sometimes these spiritual um, colognes, as they're called. They have their place in spirituality. And I want to talk to you a little bit about how we use them sometimes. Now, this is not the only way that we actually use them. We use them different ways. But I want to talk to you a little bit of how we use them. So first of all, most of these colognes sometimes are used in baths, cleansings, and sometimes in ceremonies, if you can call them, or like little rituals that we have sometimes, especially in uh, most uh, spiritual religions. I'm going to use that term loosely today. Um, so let me get right into it. So one of the first colognes that you've probably seen is the Siete Machos. So this cologne is really good, sometimes used for men. It can be used like for cleanses and things like that. You would pass it over the body. But if, you know, mixed correctly, uh, it can be used for attraction, to be able to attract women. You see, most of these colognes have their energy or vibrancy. And that's, how, that's sort of how we use them. So this one is really good sometimes for men that are wanting to attract women or just for men specifically trying to clear off negative energy. And again, they work based on their spiritual vibrancy that they actually have. Another one that we have right here is the orange blossom one. So the orange blossom one is used a lot for calming. So this one is a good one just like for a little bit over the house and everything. The thing with energy sometimes that you don't want to use an energy that's meant to calm too much too often because it kind of slows everything down. It slows down the energies that you want to be able to enter your, your, your home, your business, and things like that. So this one probably I wouldn't recommend too much like for a business owner. If you want to spray it around your business or even if you have a home business or something like that. Maybe every once in a while, but just not too often. But the orange blossom is good. It's also good like if you have like for children, for babies and stuff like that. You can spray it around like uh, their crib or their nursery or things like that. Another one that you probably have seen is uh, the Kananga one. So the Kananga is used more for, for mm, I would say a little bit more for like controlling or domination, but it's better used like for business owners or if you're trying to ask for a loan or something, it has a little bit of a power of like control or, uh, or being able to dominate a little bit, but it's meant a little bit more like for financial situations and things like that. I am gonna uh, tell you something. So, um, each spiritual path uses um, uses these colognes a little bit different. So some people you might actually see that might use something like Ananga for like love or something like that. I personally don't feel like it has that much that, that, that much of a vibrancy. If you can see the color of this one, this one's a little bit more for orange. So orange sometimes we use it a little bit more like for the color of orange. We use it sometimes like for attraction and things like that. Um, but I am going to be the first one to tell you that if you are ever in a conversation and someone is telling you this is used for that you know have the that have that respect you know don't say no that's you're wrong or anything like that no because in it's in a different spiritual path um or a spiritual belief system they don't, they might actually use that and there's nothing wrong with that you know okay moving on so this is one that i like and it reminds me a lot of like my first times being involved like I what I would call like hardcore more into spirituality. This is the violet water. So the violet water, we use it a lot um, when we're trying to cleanse and to calm and also draw in pro positive energy and even like spirits and things like that. So if you're my godson or if you've been to any of the spiritual masses that I've held, you know that we use this one. So we use that that one for things like that. Obviously, it can be used for more things. I probably wouldn't put it like into a cleansing bath per se. I mean, it can be used that. You can. I'll give you. I'll give you a recipe. You can actually mix this with holy water, um, a little bit of eggshell powder and cascarilla, and uh, wash down the floors of your house with it, like uh, the entrance of it, like the the steps into your house. Um, and I would probably probably cleanse your house first with with incense. 
with frankincense and, and myrrh and lavender if you want to and then use this you know uh in the front of it in the front of your 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 house or whatever that that would be pretty helpful i would say and then that's kind of what i try to do sometimes or if i have the if i have the chance i'll probably do that another one that i like to use is the colonia 1800 so this one you can actually use it in a variety of ways you can use it for baths and you can use it to clear negative energy so a lot of people will add it to baths and stuff like that that are meant to like cleanse negative energy and things like that so this is a, a good one that you can that you could use for something like that is what i would say there are other recipes for it but that's a little bit more um more complex on how you can use it so just know this one is good like to like remove negative energies and stuff like that um but it's more morally like you wouldn't spray something like this like really around the, your house to be honest with you so another one that I like, and again, if you're my godchild, or if you've been into any of the spiritual masses that we've had, I know that you definitely know what we use this one for. So this is Losion Pompeya, or Colonia Pompeya. So this one is a little bit special uh, to people who practice like more of a spiritismo and spirituality. We use that for those ceremonies, but this is used sort of to bring in like the good vibrancy, the good energy and things like that. And you, you, I'm pretty sure some of you guys already know what we use this for. So Losion Pompeya is a really good one. We do use it in Santeria, um, you know, in some of our rituals and practices that we have. So this is a good one. It's a little costly. This one costs $25.99. Some of these, I mean, that's what we sell at the shop. Some of these run under like $10 and things like that. This one's a little bit more expensive, but it's, you know, it's Pompeya. So, you know. So this is uh, Flor de Naranja. This is, again, this is sort of like an orange blossom cologne too, but it's a little bit different. This one's also more to bring in that energy of like harmony. So this is one that I would probably use. Like if I was trying to like cleanse my house, I could spray it in afterwards or whatever, just to sort of either give you that, that, that good sort of energy. And it's supposed to bring sort of in a sense either like happiness and things like that. And sometimes that's what we want. We don't want anything that's like too like relaxing like that energy type like that because that's going to mess up with everything else that, that that we have going in whether it's our, our finances or you know our abundance and things like that so this is something that you can use for something like that and actually if you mix in the colonia de rosa or the rose cologne this one is more like for situations of love and things like that if you mix these in this is supposed to attract you like like good love a good relationship and things like that and obviously you can use it like for a bath and something like that um so i would probably get both of these mix them and then add maybe like some holy water and then take a bath that sound in the background is actually my dog so he's i mean if you know me that's my dog and so this is uh colonia vertiver so i like this one i just i like the bottle it reminds me of like old school you know um oops sorry it reminds me of a bottle of like old school like uh, i don't know like hardcore witchcraft my like grandpa my grandma you know, my aunt or something like that. So this is a good one that is good for like cleansing and removing negative energy. Actually, let me see what this one smells like. Yeah, this one smells, I mean, it smells pretty good. You can get it in different uh, vari var variations, but this one's pretty good. This one's like good for removing that negative energy and stuff like that too. That's sort of what vertebrate is sort of good for. I mean, it has other properties, but that's one of the ones that, that's what I use it more, you know, to be honest with you. I use it more for like removing negative energies and also vertebrate is good for protection. So this is one of these colognes that you can sort of use. It doesn't smell bad. I love the, the bottle. It looks like really cool to be honest with you. I love it. And I have a cologne that we're actually missing right here right now. And it's probably because I, um, I forgot to bring it. But it is Florida water. Um, and... Florida water, we use it a lot, a lot to be able to remove negative energy and things like that. And um, it's used for a variety of things. It's not just used for like negative energies. It has its, its, its different properties that you can use it. You can use it as a floor wash. You can mix some Florida water into your mop water if you want and some holy water and then use that. But I, if you're going to use it, if you're going to use any of these as a floor wash, please dilute them with water, especially if you have hardwood floor because a lot of these clones have alcohol and they will stain your your floor your hardwood floors and even like your clothing and stuff like that so always keep be very mindful of that too you know 
um, but you can use it straight up with the Florida water. It looks just like this. I have an aerosol can, which I'm going to show you. And so what you would do with the Florida water, if you're like, if you go to work and you're having situations, negative situations at work, and you just know that, you know, sometimes we know we're having situations with coworkers and things like that at work. And every time we go there, we feel like we have that negative energy or whatever. What you actually can do is that you can grab some of the cologne, the Florida water cologne, pour it on the back of your neck, just let it drizzle back there. And then... Um, that should be able to remove some of, the, some of that negative. Just pour some of that cologne onto the palms of your hands, rub them together, and pat yourself down. You know, pat your whole body down just a little bit and just sort of just shake it off so that you can shake off that negative energy. So I would probably do that before and after. So we're going to go back to what I said about Florida water. You know, I did say Florida water has different properties. So we can use it to cleanse negative energy but it also has like positive energies that it can attract so um you know if you put it before you go to work or you're going to that situation where you know it's sort of either a little bit negative um it should be able to attract positive energy you know just a little bit so that um you, the situation isn't so bad when you get there you know so you can sort of be the sensitive that cleanse your aura but when you come back you can use it again so that you're not bringing that negative energy into your home so what would i suggest do it in your garage do it outside. Do it before you leave it to work. Do it in your in the restroom of your job if you can or something like that um, so that you can get rid of some of that negative energy. So one of the things that I do like about Florida water, because I do use it here at my house, after I finish cleansing the house, whether it's with incense or anything that's sort of smoky, I will try to use this aerosol version of it. So this is the aerosol version of it. So the bottle looks like this. It might have this imaging here on it, but it's going to come in a bottle that's very similar to this, but the liquid in the bottle is going to be green, okay? So my suggestion is you can use this until, like, let's say you cleanse your house. You cleanse your house and you cleanse it with incense or whatever. What I would do is that I would mix this with some water, maybe a couple of drops of holy water and an atomizer or a spray bottle and spray it all over your house once you're done with it, okay? Um, that's what I would do, but honestly, I prefer this because this is like aerosol and I can just grab it and it's just spray and it smells just the same, okay? Some people, I'm going to say use cans like this for cleanses. Like when, when you get a cleanse, they'll sp spray you with something like this. Uh, that's not me. That's not something I would do. Um, you know, that's just not me. I've seen it, but that's just not me. You know, I'd rather use this and, you know, something like this. Now, when I do use, if you've had a cleansing, if you had a cleansing with me, when I do use something like this, I am going to be honest with you. There are things that I've done to the lotions, whether it's prepare them through ritually or something else, you know, um, there's something that I've already done. Okay. Um, I hope that this video helps you learn a little bit more of how we use these colognes and how you can use them and how you can apply them to your daily life. Um, Thank you for watching the video. If you guys have any comments or anything like that, my name is Jesus. You guys can email me um, asking me any questions or anything like that. I am a Santero. Um, I do work online and at the shop. Um, thank you for watching this video. And this is hopefully this is going to be one of the first of many more videos to come. Thank you. I love you all.